Cooling Cities up. Adam. I'm Jack Tomtech. That's Andrew Lee. Come here and cuddle. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Friday, Happy Friday, everybody. everyone. I hate you so much. Jeez, Andrew. Jeez. Andrew, you're a little. I love you. You know, I'm fragile. Thank you. Very, you're, you're a little kind of bipolar today. It's just, you just. Make up your mind. Mean. We show produced by more. Show produced by Lump. <laughs> Good morning. I love you. You're my best friend. <laughs> At 7 o'clock today, we'll talk with Bob Kroll, the head of the Minneapolis Police Union, Peace Officers Association. I don't know. Police, Minneapolis, Union. He's the boss. He's yeah. the mustache. Right. You're He's nothing. The Is he coming in? Uh, I don't know. Oh. I sent him an email t- giving him that option, okay. which he replied, I am Bob Kroll. I have all the options. <laughs> right. I'll do whatever I want. <laughs> then he uh, broke my taillight with his, with his flashlight. So it looks like you got a problem yeah. here, son. Looks like uh, you're going to be here for a while. <laughs> <laughs> and we're outside the cell coverage range. Like, no, we're not. And they threw my phone into the river. <laughs> so watch now out for are. that bear. I, uh, I fear him. He'll be on at 7. We'll talk about the uh, federal decision not to, not to press charges on uh, civil rights violation. I'm totally mixing up all these words. On the Jamar Clark what case, the happened? two officers. <laughs> right. Uh, the you mayor said some mostly things. Right. Bob Kroll said some things. Mm-hmm. We're having Bob in. There you I go. guess I got to invite the mayor, but she won't come in. She wouldn't come in. No. No. She's been invited before mm-hmm. and not come in. Correct. And at 8, third wheeler, comedian Brian Miller coming in. We're He's talk so handsome. Some lists. And your parody song contest at the end of the show. Lum, do you know what the prize is for the parody song contest? <laughs> I do, but I don't remember what it is. Then you don't know then what it don't. is. <laughs> then the answer is no. <laughs> then you don't. I believe it's I a uh, pair of tickets, uh, VIP tickets to the St. Paul Summer Beer Fest tomorrow. I believe that we have that and an additional prize. Oh, my goodness. You know what you don't need tickets for? Uh, the open house at Wellington Windows tomorrow from 11 to 2, where I'll be. You'll be there. It's a window factory. Yeah. It's in St. Louis Park. I've yeah. never been to a window factory. Right. I don't know how they're made, but yesterday I got my windows put in. A day. A day. I just they're thought done. they appeared on my house. No, no, people. People, people make put them? them in and make them. Oh. I'm super pumped and super pleased. You have to pl- well, you plant them usually. Yes, a window seed. Right. You, you put a put out a, you know the window sills, right? With the you know that people put <laughs> yeah. plants in. Well before you put plants in those, you need to grow the window. Glass oh. glass seed, a pane seed. Yeah. yeah. I actually thought that you Takes a little while. plant the seeds and grow the house and the windows are just included. That's dumb. <laughs> you're an idiot. <laughs> How stupid are you? God, you're dumb. Wow. So I'll tweet out the uh, information for the open house tomorrow, 11 to 2. Come by and see me, get a deal on some windows, and see how windows are made. So we also are going to be giving away a family four-pack of one-day tickets to the Minnesota Hot Rod Association's 43rd annual Back to the 50s weekend. Very cool. Minnesota State Fairgrounds. That is our prize for the Parody Song Contest? If, it is if we want it to be. Right. Well, we have two yeah. prizes. Yes. We can choose. We oh. have two fabulous prizes today. We'll decide which First one we're going to First person to show up with a birthday cake for Lump gets a prize. Yes. No, wait, no. Yes. No. Yes. And the ice prize cream. is my smile. And ice cream. No. Hey, yes. you want a That's smile from me. <laughs> and a, you know what? And a hug. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No! <laughs> Happy yes. birthday, young lady. Thank you. Do you have big plans for your 21st? Nope. They got they got rained out. I had plans, but it's going to storm tonight, so they got rained out. I yeah, already got my a, first gift of the day, though. You were having a bonfire. I mm-hmm. was. You were, that was the plan. Yeah, it's been postponed for mm-hmm. until next weekend because it's supposed to storm later. You had your first gift? I did. What you get? I got something alcoholic from Andrew. <laughs> she oh. doesn't even know what it you is. You actually got two gifts, but only mentioned the one from Andrew. I don't, that hurts. I haven't seen a different, another one. That hurts. And Lump and I are going to star party together tonight. Yeah, apparently we're going to star party together. Again. I'll be uh, not here on Monday or any day after. I probably won't be. It either. was a good run. I'll it was thrown in the run. towel. I, yeah. I just assume Hope that it's worth it. Yeah, I just assume that come Monday I'll be chained up in his basement. No, you'll be a millionaire. Well, either way, lawsuit, <laughs> or prisoner. So at at eight, when Brian Miller gets in, we'll have some suggestions for you, Lump, on uh, things you need to accomplish on your twenty first birthday. All right, mm-hmm. I'm ready. Yeah, we've got we've got challenges. Yeah, dares. Right. Are we gonna see how many I can fulfill? Yes. That, that was, yes, we yes, are. I think so. It was oh, just okay. kind of Never a fun mind. throwaway I... segment, but no, now no, you, you have <laughs> to do that. You've upped the ante. Yeah. Who said that? You did. I did not say that. Yeah. <laughs> Get that drop. Andrew, you turned 21 a long time ago. I did turn 21 a long time ago. I kind of remember <laughs> that mm-hmm. incident. 
Uh, me and some friends decided that we would get a hotel room okay. for my 21st birthday. Just let whatever happened happen. And whatever happened happened. Nobody talks. I was, I don't know. What I have happens, no idea. What happened in that hotel room? Me and, Stayed uh, in hotel room? Me and my friend Jay uh-huh. uh, got there <laughs> super early uh, to set up, which just meant tapping the keg. <laughs> <laughs> and we tapped the keg and uh, decided, well, we got a few hours to kill before anybody shows up. Let's drink. Let's play some drinking games. <laughs> Just the two of us. Oh, that yeah. Was a bad idea. Yeah. I, uh, did, you guys, I don't... did you guys make out? And then some. Mm, I don't remember that happening. I'm not saying no it didn't. <laughs> I don't, I can't but I don't remember sure. much of happening uh, that night. Uh, <laughs> my night ended before anybody else showed up oh, to, the par- no. to the party. To the party. <laughs> Where's the birthday boy? He's sleeping right there. Over there, snoring. Oh. Yeah. Was it a big hotel room, or did you just get, like, a standard, just an average small hotel room? Pretty at, average. At, tw- at, at yeah. like, 21. Yeah, I, was, I wasn't, well, I wasn't spending a ton of money on this whole thing. From what we've talked yeah. about, Andrew, you're that, you're, you in that age group, not that different than when I was in that age sure. group. You don't have a whole lot of money no. to be getting. No, I was a, a pizza delivery nice. driver. Yeah. Yeah. So, no, it was fun. We had a good time, uh, but, like, well... You don't have any other stories people, to tell because you passed out early. I'm sure other people had a good time. Sure. Yeah. It was an <laughs> early night for Andrew. <laughs> I didn't drink until I turned 21 because I'm a law-abiding citizen. Hey, me too. Uh, yeah, me too. Uh, two two <laughs> of us are telling that. the truth. The other one's a liar. <laughs> okay, I went a month early, but I almost made it. Good for you, love, for making it all the way. Hey, thanks. But stop drinking now. It's against the law. I turned 21 in D.C. Did you? When I was there for my internship, the internship that I met the woman who would eventually become my wife. I turned 21 two weeks into that that internship, that trip. Mm -hmm. And uh, not being an experienced drinker and uh, in a town where I knew nobody. Right. No no friends. I'd just gotten there. Uh. The girl who would become my wife was 20 herself, so she couldn't go out with me. Sure. So I just went out in Georgetown uh, by myself. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> you got to go out on your birthday. But I didn't know anybody. I didn't know where I was going. I didn't know. I was winging it. I wasn't the, uh, I'm kind of a fly by the seat of your pants kind of gal. It's not a bad place to, uh, to wing it, though, and go out by yourself. And I, it was all downhill from there. And some, I'm 20, 21 years old, and what I thought an older lady, probably 40, so old, uh, <laughs> who was the uh, color corrector for the pictures for U.S. News and World Report, bought me beer all night long. Very nice. And repeatedly said, I'm not trying to pick you up. But if it happens, it happens. <laughs> and I, 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 I'm so naive, I believed her. And, and looking back now, I'm not even sure if she was. Because it would have been easy pickings. And it said that, that nothing ended up. And I stayed too late, and I was there longer than the the metro, the bu- the train there ran. So mm-hmm. I took a bus close to my house and then hoofed it the next two miles. Oof. <laughs> my 21st birthday. Yeah. Hammered <laughs> for not the first time, but probably within the... For three times, mm-hmm. I was super bright as a youngster. Yeah, super yeah. bright. <laughs> yeah. So happy twenty first lump, and we will have uh, a better twenty first birthday than both of us had. <laughs> but don't get me wrong; it was fun. There was just a lot of walking. Yeah. and an old person. <laughs> oh, like when you and I go to yeah. a car party tonight. The yeah. same thing. Same Sounds thing. like how your yeah. day is going to play out. Going to be does. It great. Does. We'll circle back to the fun at 8 when Brian Miller comes into the studio. We'll have some dares that Lump is legally obligated to accomplish. It's It's in her contract. Bob Kroll, head of the Minneapolis Police Union at 7. I don't think I have a contract. When we come back, (laughs) they're not worth much anyway. (laughs) When we come back, Andrew, what's at the top of the news bag? Uh, Mark Dayton says he will not cut your taxes unless there's a special session and he gets everything he wants. (sighs) 